Let's take a look at all the different picture profiles, or as Fujifilm calls them, film simulations, when capturing video on the Fujifilm X-T3. So I went down the entire line of the Fujifilm X-T3's film simulations, which on Canon and Sony cameras, we call them picture profiles. Picture profiles bake in the color, the saturation, and the contrast in your image, making it for a really fast post-production process. As long as you expose correctly in camera, you won't have to worry about color correction or color grading. And that's because the film simulation or picture profile color information is already baked into your file. And while most of us enjoy shooting in log and going through the color correction and color grading process in post-production, depending on what you're going to end up delivering your project to, choosing a picture profile may be a much better option because the camera is doing all of the image processing for you, like adding sharpness, setting the contrast, and keeping the saturation, as well as all the other image processing decisions containing all of that information within the capabilities of the camera's own codec, as well as any other image processing camera hardware or software limitations. In other words, the camera's brand, in this case, Fujifilm, has already sorted all of those decisions for us, allowing us to simply set our exposure so that we can end up with a finished, processed image. But there is a compromise, because not all picture profiles or film simulations are going to be cinematic, at least not to everyone's eye. So I'm gonna share my opinion and observations as we go right down the list of all of the Fujifilm X-T3's film simulations. Let's start with the Acros standard film simulation. This is one of the black and white film simulation modes on the X-T3. I find that it aggressively crushes the blacks, but it handles the midtones and the gradients exceptionally well. That huge cliff in how the blacks get crushed is what keeps the blacks crisp and noise free. But the reality is that most of us who work in corporate filmmaking or commercial production for broadcasts ever shoot in black and white. So let's move on. We're now looking at Astia Soft. This film simulation is supposed to have softer colors with more of a subtle look. I think you're gonna notice two things. The blacks are aggressively contained to the point where they're almost clipping. And by the way, the whole aggressively crushing or pulling down the blacks is going to become a recurring theme. The second thing you'll notice is that in the medium shot, my sweatshirt, which is black, has a slight blue hue tint. So this hue shift is a little bit of a stylized decision as to how this film simulation mode is treating the dark areas of the image. Overall, I would say that I like it because it appears as if it was actually graded in post, when in fact, this is exactly what it looks like coming straight out of the camera. Classic Chrome is a much cooler film simulation that has a very aggressive drop off in the shadows. And you'll also notice that it has a very aggressive shelf on the highlights. While I do like the cooler tones of the Classic Chrome film simulation, I really don't like the way that the highlights have basically zero roll off. And I also don't like the complete lack of texture or detail in the dark areas of the image. So if you're going to shoot using Classic Chrome, you'll wanna have complete control over all of the lighting in your scene so that you can manage the highlights as well as the dark areas. Eterna Film Simulation. Eterna. Eterna takes the image quality and processing to another level. There is much better highlight roll off. The blacks are not crushed. The colors are balanced and not at all oversaturated. And most importantly, to me at least, the image looks and feels cinematic. More than any other film simulation in the Fujifilm X-T3, no doubt Eterna would be my number one choice, especially if I wanted to avoid color grading in post-production, or if I needed to deliver straight out of the camera. Eterna really does have something special going on with that image processing. But if you're like me 
and you enjoy the color grading step in post-production, F-Log is a better choice. This is F-Log captured in camera. Notice the lack of banding in the gradients. Notice the lack of noise. Notice the texture and detail in my sweater. Notice the gradients on the dark side of my face. And notice how the highlights are nowhere near clipping. All of this adds up to a terrific starting point. Having a great starting point is going to absolutely speed up your post-production. You can't go wrong when choosing to shoot in F-Log or Eterna as long as you don't completely mess up the exposure. The monochrome film simulation would be my favorite black and white film simulation mode on the X-T3. It shows off a much wider dynamic range when compared to Acros. Pro Neck High pulls down the midtones, and it also goes right back to crushing the blacks, taking out all texture and all detail. And overall, to my eye, it looks like I'm underexposed. Pro Neck Standard, on the other hand, does a much better job at protecting detail in the dark areas of the image. It also doesn't aggressively pull down the midtones, and we notice that that overall blue hue comes back. So there is quite a bit of stylized flavor baked into this Pro Neck Standard. Fujifilm included sepia. Does anyone ever use sepia? Whatever. The standard picture profile on the X-T3 looks really nice. It's lifelike. The saturation is very much in check and under control. And in my opinion, the standard picture profile can easily be used to deliver straight out of the camera. Velvia has some aggressive color saturation as well as color brilliance. This film simulation is supposed to be best suited for landscapes. Hopefully the landscape shots don't have any shadows in them because the blacks are aggressively crushed. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know and don't forget to subscribe so that you can see the rest of the videos in this X-T3 series. Until next time, I'm Carlos with Media IQ, helping you compete in today's web economy. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Take care.